Art is an expression. You can express it through writing, you can express it through painting or music. Local artist Joe Rizzo lives in Milwaukee. Painting is as much in his veins as it is on them. In a way, it's in the eye of the beholder. It's taken three weeks and about 10 gallons of paint for Joe to wrap around Chan's on Main Street. I did Mount Hood and I did uh, the local Willamette River with the um, island over here, Elk Rock Island, and just the local trees and birds. He proposed this idea to the Milwaukee Arts Committee a year ago. They approved the mural that goes back to the roots of our area. To just show the beauty of the environment that's thriving. His concept is birds, bees, mushrooms, and trees. It's part of a larger effort by the Arts Committee matching business owners and artists to sprinkle more murals on walls throughout the city. Unfortunately, we're in you know COVID style and it's a little weird, but um, I love doing murals. I love painting, making art, and especially for the public, it's a great feeling. The ballpark number for this mural is $12,000, and um, which, you know, to have three sides of a building painted is an amazing, uh, amazing uh, blessing for our community. Alicia Hamilton is a member of the committee. She says it's money well spent. I see beauty, nature, and um, a place where I'd like to be all the time. Joe has about half a wall to go, hoping to complete the mural by mid-August. He hopes that it's something the whole community will enjoy. I hope they get a positive feeling from it and, and also just kind of reflect on uh, the environment a little bit. The whole thing is is that art really builds community and Lord knows we need community right now. And we're all just looking to connect in any way, shape or far form and art can do that. And so I just say, get out there and create art in whatever form it looks like because it just makes the world a better place. In Milwaukee, John Goodwin, KGW News. It is